Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, which is Joyce Kitchen. I hope you are all doing very, very happy, very, very healthy. Today I'm going to show you uh, one of the way I cook my spinach. Uh, it's really, really yummy actually. So it's tuna broad bean spinach and it's, you can see it's quite dry and stir fried, but trust me, it's full of flavors because I use tuna, I use broad bean, I used um, spinach. So it's healthy and at the same time, it's super, super yummy. So just stay with me and enjoy the uh, whole process, how I do it. It's very easy anyway. So I took here one packet of frozen spinach. You can go for a uh, fresh spinach. It's totally, totally fine. But I prefer uh, the frozen one because it's quite easy for me and it's a little bit like chopped and dry and everything. So the extra water I just pressed with my hand and I just reduced all the drain, all the extra water. So it's quite dry and it's already uh, uh, like cut it properly. So I don't need to do anything else. So my spinach is ready. I took here around one cup of broad bean. If you don't have broad bean, you can go for peas as well. Peas can be a very good substitute. But because my dish is with broad bean, so I used actually one cup or around one and a half cup of broad bean. And this is also frozen. So you can find very easily in any kind of super shop nowadays this broad bean. And they are so meaty, they are so tender, they are so sweet. So yeah, you know, and broad bean is so good for your health as well. So yeah, it's, it's just ready. And I... Um, washed it i defrosted it and it's ready for cooking and at the same time i took here um, the two can of tuna so i'm just using like canned tuna if you if you have fresh tuna you can fry it and boil it and then uh, use it but uh, you know canned tuna is quite available and it's three can because i'm gonna use quite a lot of tuna in my dish I took here two small size onion and I roughly uh, chopped it. You can see it's like quite small kind of uh, chopping and uh, it's two onion. I don't need too much onion. It's like around uh, if you have if you're using big just use one. Uh, my one is small. I took like two green chili and I cut them like a uh, normal uh, small pieces and this green chili going to give really good kind of kick spiciness and at the same time flavor and here i took actually 12 clove of garlic and i sliced it i need a quite a lot of garlic especially this dish for this dish garlic is the main ingredient and trust me just follow my recipe and do it you never gonna regret it it's so yummy i took here one teaspoon of tipped turmeric powder and one teaspoon of red chili powder you can skip red chili powder that's totally fine but i want a little bit of spiciness in my uh, spinach so yeah this is the two kind dry ingredients i'm using so already I added actually three tablespoon of vegetable oil and I'm gonna fry my uh, garlic slices till it's little bit golden brown, not too golden, little golden. So I need a little bit more oil than normal when we co uh, cook uh, spinach because I'm using tuna, I'm using broad beans, so they're gonna soak quite a lot of oil. So my garlic is quite golden brown now. You can see I don't need to make it too golden as I said. And now I'm just going to add my sliced onion and my green chilies. And I'm going to fry them at least 2 minutes till they are a little bit soft and uh, uh, like you know or moist. So after 2 minutes of frying you can see my onion actually changed its color. It's quite translucent now. And this is the time I'm going to add my red chili and my turmeric powder here. And I'm just going to fry these spices together at least 2 minutes till the oil comes up. Because I don't want any raw flavor in my onion. So after 2 minutes of frying you can see already uh, the oil is separate. So that means my onion is done. And now I'm just going to add my broad bean first. Because broad bean going to take a little bit longer to, uh, to cook. Uh, more than actually spinach and tuna. Uh, so that's why I have to make sure that broad bean soak all the flavor from this pan. Otherwise broad bean going to be really bland and it's not going to taste good. So I'm going to fry my broad bean at least 3 minutes in these spices. If you feel you can add a little bit of water but I don't need anyway. So I've been frying my broad bean around 3 to 4 minutes and my broad bean is nearly half done now because I checked it and it's soaked quite a lot of flavor as well. And this is the time I'm just going to add my tuna because tuna also have a little, little bit like fishy flavor. So you have to make sure you fry your tuna a little bit longer than spinach because spinach is the softest one here. So now I'm just going to fry my tuna for another 2 minutes. So after two minutes of frying, uh, I can see my, my tuna and my broad bean actually mixed up properly. And now I'm just going to add my um, uh, spinach here. If you are adding like fresh spinach, then you have to cook a little bit longer. Obviously spinach is going to um, like release quite a lot of water. Uh, and you make sure you have to make this dish quite dry. It's not very watery. So that's why uh, I'm, I chose actually frozen spinach. But uh, if it's a fresh one, fry it longer, cook it longer. That's it. 
So I was been cooking my spinach nearly five to six minutes and my dish is done now. I'm just I just want to show you how it looks. So within five or six minutes, it's going to be done. So now I'm just going to serve my dish and it's very easy uh, cooking. It's not any complicated, nothing. It's just very flavorful, but very easy. So here you go guys, this is my tuna spinach broad bean or broad bean tuna spinach, whatever you call it, it's ready for you and as you noticed it was very very simple to make but trust me it is full of packed of flavors and uh, if you like tuna, if you like spinach, if you like broad bean, it's just together is amazing and this is a rice dish you can eat it with rice or you can eat with bread as well it's totally up to you how you're gonna eat it or you can eat actually on its own as well so i hope you're gonna make it and enjoy it with your whole family and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends family and neighbors so i hope you're gonna make and enjoy and be healthy and thanks for watching my video so bye bye take care